curbside pickup is for patients um, to pick up their medications without actually entering into the medical center. So before the whole like conversion to the curbside, we had actually uh, been asking patients if we can mail their medications to them. Um, and converting a lot of our patients to a 90-day supply for all maintenance medications. Um, so we've been ramping up the mail order the week prior to actually implementing our curbside um, pickup program for the patients that are needing to come to the pharmacy to pick up their medications. Um, the ones that are coming to the medical center because they have an appointment and they want to wait for the medication, we are doing curbside. So a lot of our prescriptions now are either mail order or curbside. Um, you know, so that's, that's the whole point is to minimize the foot traffic into the medical center. You can see from the lobby, our um, pharmacy waiting area is basically empty. Um, there's nobody here except for staff um, and other patients who may be going to the clinic. So basically the process is that we have a pharmacy technician and a pharmacist stationed at the entrance exit where the patients are coming in. Um, they are to check in and screen first and then they say they want to go to the pharmacy. Um, the staff there is going to direct them to go to the pharmacy line. Then the um, technician will check them in, um, see what they're looking to do, if they're picking up their medications, if they are dropping off prescriptions or processing prescriptions for the patient. Um, once the patient has been helped, uh, the pharmacy technician is going to communicate that uh, via a cell phone or a device for them to um, communicate to the main pharmacy to get their meds ready or to get all their medications uh, getting ready for uh, to be picked up by the patient. And then the patient has been instructed to uh, leave the medical center, step outside, either they can wait outside or wait in their car. And then when it's ready, the staff in the main pharmacy is gonna call the patient to let them know that medication's ready. Um, we'll meet you outside um, in about 10 minutes. Um, and then we have a runner. Uh, right now we are utilizing our interns to basically taking the medications from the main pharmacy to the curbside and delivering it. Uh, we also have a portable telephone machine, um, which we use to get payment from patients. And if they have credit card, um, then we're gonna do it right there at the curbside. Um, if we can't, then we just tell them, you know, you can mail in your payment via check, money order, or call from home to give us your credit card for payment later on. And we just kind of give them an invoice to let them know how much uh, the medications were. And then after that, uh, the, they get an, a signature that the patient picked up the medication and the intern kind of returns the invoice back to the pharmacy um, to be scanned into the patient's profile that we have records for pickup. As in terms of consultations, um, the pharmacist isn't going to be able to consult the patient at the curbside, so we're putting in a slip of paper that's telling the patient to call this number, um, our pharmacy number, main pharmacy number, to get a consultation from our pharmacist for any questions um, and and concerns about their medications. So when we implemented this about a week ago, um, we had some hangups in, in terms of like, first, we didn't have portable credit card machines, so we didn't have like a payment option for the patient. Um, we were just giving them invoices to tell them, hey, you can take this home, either mail as a check or um, call in to pay over the phone. And then the other thing is just working out our process so it's run smoothly. Um, so our staff, they have to learn this new process on the fly. It wasn't like we had months to prepare and we trained everybody on the whole process. They kind of had to learn it on the fly. There are some patients that also didn't understand why they couldn't come into the medical center. Um, so then they were uh, not angry, but maybe a little bit um, agitated that they couldn't wait in the medical center, um, that they had to either wait outside or in their car for their medications. Um, but I think as the week gone on and um, there's more clear communication to the patients um, that they understood what the process was and where we're going with the medical center.